At 8 o'clock, we got Alcorn State, who's 7-4, and four, trailing a UAB, who's 4-8. and eight. UAB fair by 26.5 points on ESPN+. Plus. Jacob Zeno had two, went 279, 379 this year, threw for, last year, threw for 3,126 yards, 20 touchdowns, 9 interceptions, and he was one of the few bright spots on this UAB Blazers team. Jermaine Brown Jr. had 158 carries for 803 yards and 12 touchdowns, and Tejuan Palmer had 47 catches for 858 yards and 7 touchdowns. You use you lose Brown and Palmer, but you do bring back Zeno, so it's at least a win for the UAB squad. Again, UAB had a rude awakening, right? They had been the cream of the crop of the Conference USA for a long time. Their head coach had him clicking on all cylinders the vast majority of the time he was at UAB. Um, you get a brand new head coach in, I think, Dilfer. Um, he's brand new. He's coming from the high school level, so it's going to be a different adjustment. Not to mention you go from Conference USA to American. And not to trash talk Conference USA, but American is a much more competitive conference. You have a lot of more teams that are really, really good. Because you're talking about the end of last year, SMU, Tulane, Memphis, and UTSA was in a large tie at the top of the conference, and they were all extremely good football teams. I mean, just right after that, you're probably not going to be that. Um, UTSA had a lot of talent returning, which is, and they had a good head coach, which is why they were able to compete immediately. Um, you didn't have that. Um, and while you did play in some competitive football games, don't get me wrong, you would be had a shot to win a decent amount of football games this year that they just didn't win. Um... UAB's, I think UAB is an interesting team to look at. I think this is a UAB team that I think could take a little bit of a step forward. I think they could be a bowl team this year. If they don't make a bowl game, I think you could argue that we should fire Dilfer, right? Like, it's obviously not moving in the correct direction. You're playing in a tougher conference now. The standards are higher. And if you want to be that playoff team, you got to make some progress this year. Uh, I will say the conference got easier, right? SMU left it. Um, that doesn't mean that it's going to be easy, necessarily. And, and Tulane's head coach, Willie Fritz, left. And UTSA loses their star quarterback in Frank Harris. And I, I'm not going to say, I'm going to say that the conference got easier. But it's not easy by any stretch of the imagination. Memphis still looks like a team that compete for a playoff spot. Tulane's still going to be Tulane. John is a good coach. UTSA still has Taylor, I think. that, And uh, he's, a, he's a hell of a coach as well. Um, not to mention USF is on the rise. Like there's, are, there's good teams in the American that you're going to have to deal with. If you're going to win some football games, and I think UAB needs to come to that realization. I think UAB is a good enough team to get to six wins this year, but this is where it starts. they got to win this game. They should win it by a lot. Give me the Blazers at home to win and cover.